everybody. Hope you're having a great day and uh, yeah, finding some great things to do at home and you know, work wise or just hanging out with your family. So I want to make a quick video today on uh, escrow account and homeowners insurance, uh, something that uh, we talk to our clients a lot about and then bring in on new clients and you know, how does the escrow account work? Uh, a lot of people think they can't change their homeowners insurance once it is included in their mortgage payment. Uh, so I just want to give a, make a quick video on uh, the process of that and what exactly an escrow account is. So when you go to buy a home, for example, uh, you will take your earnest money and put that into an escrow account, which shows the seller that you are serious uh, you know, about buying that home. And so they'll stick that in the escrow account until you go to closing and the, the deal is funded. And so once you, it is funded, the step after that is you'll be set up with a second escrow account. And what that does is it holds your property taxes, homeowner's insurance, a private mortgage insurance, PMI if you have that. And those are all held in the escrow account and the lender makes those payments to you on behalf of you uh, when they are due. So very unique and um, it's great to have an escrow account. Some customers have it, some don't, uh, but there are pros and cons to both. Uh, that a lot of people like the, the automation of it where you know their property taxes or homeowner's insurance and things like that get paid automatically uh, versus you know having to do it themselves. So one less thing to worry about. Uh, but Quicken Loans has a great article on it here that I wanted to, to just talk about really quick that I'll include in the video. Uh, but also, you know, when you do switch over your homeowner's insurance, uh, the way that works is, you know, if you were switching over to traveler's insurance, for example, and, and say right now you have Allstate insurance, the way that works is you contact your agent and you have them cancel your homeowner's insurance effective whichever day you choose to start your new policy. And what they do at the refund is they send that back to the escrow company. That way it keeps your mortgage payment uh intact and makes it even so you're not paying twice for insurance. A lot of times I'll just send it right to you and you'll get a check in the mail and say, oh, it's a, it's a refund of $500 and uh, people will put that into their checking account. Then your escrow balance is off and you're pretty much paying twice. So um, something good to do is if that does happen where you get the check in the mail, uh, just call the escrow company and, and make a, a payment over the phone with them or tell your agent to send it back to the escrow company. So there's a couple quick tips on that. Um, if anybody out there is in the transition switching homeowners insurance or thought about it or are curious about what escrow account is, this is a great article on it. And of course, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, we are business as usual. And if you have any questions, uh, we look forward to helping you. So have a great day and take care. Thank you.